Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Super Bowl 4. So today, guys, I want to do my Champions League reaction for Barcelona versus Antwerp. I will be discussing the other Champions League games tomorrow. I just specifically want to discuss Barcelona versus Antwerp. So this will be around a three to five minute video. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. So from Barcelona, man, we got the job done. We won this game. 5-0 against Royal Antwerp. And I got to say, man, even though we won 5-0, shout out to Royal Antwerp. They did proud on the day. They This was the first time they competed in the Champions League in their history. So, and I think they put up a great fight, you know. And it's just the quality of Barca was just too much. So, even though the score may seem like they got dominated, in which they did, it wasn't as bad as people made it out to be, you know. And I just think it showed how good Barca were in the day. One player we got to discuss about is Joao Felix. The guy was unbelievable. Scored a brace on the day, got an assist as well. Fantastic, man. The fantastic, you know. And I got to apologize, man, because I thought this guy would flop big time at Barca. I really honestly did. And so far, he's done good. But we got to keep in mind, guys, is that this is only two games. So there's still a lot more of the season to go, right? As well as the fact that these are games that we should be winning anyway, you know? Like, these aren't, like, high-quality teams. This isn't Real Madrid. This isn't Bayern Munich. This is Royal Antwerp and Real Betis. So we have to put things fair here in that he's performed well against teams. You can only beat what's in front of you. That's that safe phrase, and it's very true here. But at the same time, let's not get too reactionary. Because like I said, guys, if Joao Felix has a stinker in any of those big games, then it will just show that these games, it's just, you know, it will just show it's like a stat padding. That's all it's going to show to me, you know. So can he perform those big games? That where still remains to be seen. Because like I said, guys, El Clasico, I believe is going to be next month. That's going to be a huge game against Real Madrid. And I'm sure he, he's got to make it. Yeah, he, he should have a point to prove against Real Madrid. Okay, number two is Barcelona, just rice location, you know, and I'm glad with Xavi, he put out the best possible 11 that he could have. Now, I know people are going to say, um, even I was questioning that Xavi at the, uh, the beginning of the, the game, is like, why is Romeo and Ferran Torres not starting? Ferran Torres has been in really good form recently, and Romeo has been amazing. And I, I, and I just think it shows for me, Xavi is willing to adapt, experiment, you know, and you can see how he's willing to give other players a chance. You know, give players like Rafinha a chance. Give players of the caliber. And I just think it's good for Xavi to do this. And I'm so glad he did not start Marcos Alonso, or Sergio Roberto, or Iñago Martinez. There were rumors that these players would start in the defense. And I'm so glad he went with the best possible backline possible. The midfield wasn't exactly the best as we hoped for, but it was still good. You know, and number three, my third key takeaway from this game is that Barcelona... The Barcelona... Fans, let's not get too carried away. I want to be third. My third key point takeaway is that let's not get reactionary. We still have to play against the big teams. Okay? We, yes, we've done amazing. These have been our two best performances this season. And probably a long time in a while. But we still have a lot of the season to go. It's only been two months in the season. Well, one and a half months, should I say. There is still a lot of the season to go. And Barcelona is still going to play, play against higher quality opponents. Real Madrid's waiting for us. Atletico Madrid's waiting for us. You know, we may potentially play Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Possibly Manchester City. So, like I said before, guys. This is this is good. We're doing it well. But let's not act like we're the best team in the world right now. Because we certainly aren't. We need to be level-headed here and be calm and be rational. So, anyways, those are my key takeaways from the game. Uh, obviously, Lewandowski scored as well. An own goal there. As well from the Rafinha cross. And then the fifth goal, uh, the third goal, I believe. Fourth goal, sorry, was scored by Gavi. So, it was a good, good win. I'm sure there's some other takeaways you guys have in the comments below. And I hope you guys did enjoy this very short match reaction. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.